Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Harrington uh, from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon and have been for 19 years. And I wanted to talk about a very Im important thing today with respect to the most recent FDA meeting that occurred on March 25th, uh, 2019 regarding breast implants and their safety. I was um, asked to speak at this meeting. Um, there were patients and physicians there and I wanted to just to do a really quick little video on just some updates that I think are important to chat about. Breast implants are being looked at uh, vigorously by the FDA um, with respect to their safety. And there's really two things that I think are important to emphasize. Um, the first thing is this uh, BIA ALCL, which is Breast Implant Associated Anaplastic Large Cell Lymphoma. Uh, a lot of research has been done on this, and I will tell you that the first reported case was in 2011. And since that time, we've seen an, an increased incidence of this um, anaplastic large cell lymphoma. But it's important to know that this is only with textured implants. There is not a single reported case of a smooth implant ALCL. Now, you might hear about a case, but it means that they've had a textured device previously placed. Um, the incidence of this is uh, with certain brands, um, even up to one in 3,000, um, and with other brands, back to like one in 200,000 at this point. Uh, important to know about it, um, typical presentation is a fluid collection or a mass. Um, but if you have uh, a textured implant in, um, I think it's important to know about it, and it's important to sort of talk with your plastic surgeon about it. Um, second point is this uh, problem called BII, which stands for breast implant illness. And this has been a really frustrating topic for a lot of women who've experienced it because a lot of physicians and even plastic surgeons don't recognize it as a problem. What I want you all to know uh, is that what I took home from that meeting that was really exciting is that this is becoming a recognized entity. Um, I think there's a lot of unknown about it. Um, I think there's a lot for us to learn about it. Do I think um, we're going to take this path as a society, a plastic society, and really wrap our arms around this so that everybody is cared for appropriately? I do. Um, so if you have breast implants in, and you're concerned that these implants are causing you problems with respect to, say, fatigue, joint pain, hair loss, GI issues, skin issues, rashes, etc. I mean, the list is about 40 symptoms. I've listed sort of the main ones. But if you're having that and you have concerns, again, this can be a very real thing. Um, it's becoming recognized, and I think that's important. Um, and then I'm going to just request that you know that you're not crazy, and you just need to seek out a plastic surgeon that can possibly answer some questions and help you with this problem. And so good news is, is that I want everyone out there to know that as a plastic surgery society, we're taking both of these things very seriously, and we are in your camp. Um, and we're here to, to be helpful to you and to help you live your life in a very positive way. Thank you, and I'm glad I was able to update you with things that are very current, even as of this month of uh, April of 2019.